News political editor Andrew Clonell. He joins us here in the studio. Good to see you. You broke a cracker story uh, yesterday. Uh, the, the pressure is certainly building on uh, Bridget McKenzie. Uh, talk us through what you uncovered. It centres around, let's go first to the report and then we'll go to the whistleblower. $160,000 spent on a report that really doesn't tell us much. Yeah, I mean, it told us that shooting can be good for your health or it might not be. There might not be a correlation there. It just might be that fit people go to shoot. So, complete waste of money. Announced at the Sporting Shooters Association of WA conference. Clearly a sop to the shooting lobby and certainly there have been some accusations in recent days that Bridget McKenzie's very much been about pleasing the shooting lobby, including a million dollars of those sports grants going in that direction. And I saw you really pinned Greg Hunt there. I felt that he was sort of putting Bridget McKenzie under a bus a bit and saying, ask the Minister about that. It's my understanding she was the one who really pushed it through his department to get the funding. So, but just, so just to clarify, she um, issued the funding before that report was even publicised or, or looked at? Well, that's right. So what was I mean, the point of it, it just. Anyway? <laughs> I, I mean, what I revealed yesterday and what others have revealed is, I guess, the looseness of the sports rorts program. So, of course, we all know there's pork barrelling all the time, this business of the PM's office or even the Liberal Party director coming in and saying, what about this electorate? What about... They're asking for this grant. You've got a situation here where the minister is actually visiting an electorate or visiting a gun club saying it would be great to give these guys a grant, can we put it through the department? In which case, what's the point of having a process where people can apply? Because she's completely circumventing that. And that's why it looks so bodgy, really. Look, $160,000 in the scheme of a government budget, it's not all that much, but it just goes to this contempt when it comes to how taxpayer funds are spent, $160,000 mm. on such a report. I mean, is that the going rate, Andrew? Do you know? <laughs> uh, who, who pays for this? Who charges well, that lucky, amount of money? Lucky consultants. I mean, we always see stories about waste on consultants. Can't think of a better example. Oh. But I think it's emblematic, from what I hear, of the way Bridget McKenzie operates. And she kind of hasn't been pulled up until now. And that, I believe, will be fatal for her. But that's the thing, you know. Sometimes if you cop a few whacks over this thing, you, you stop your behaviour. Or, well, some ministers just don't learn Could too. Would you be the only one, though? Surely not. I mean, well, I'm, I'm happy to accept any evidence yeah. from any viewers on other no, course, uh, reports and bring it to air. But does that kind of... <laughs> does, it, um, does it kind of just, I guess, confirm what many voters suspect? Is your, your worst fears. Exactly. Um, that one, uh, the sports rorts program, you know, you're kind of uh, punished depending on which way you vote uh, mm. in, in some way, but also that any grants under any minister have the ability to be rorted. I mean, there was another one announced by Dan Tien yesterday. Surely we'll be going over that with a fine tooth comb to make sure any research is spent in a way that benefits us. Look, the only thing, I know what you're saying, but the only thing I'd say on that is she hasn't got away with it. The audit office has got her. That's true. And that, there's the argument that for a federal ICAC, the same sort of reason. I, I know dealing with, in New South Wales, that staffers for ministers, chiefs of staff, would have um, unsavoury offers uh, made to them and they would at least be able to say, hey, we could be before ICAC if that happens. It was kind of a guard, a deterrent against these things. Without a federal ICAC, you don't have the same standard, I don't think. What are the internal repercussions if she, if she moves? If she gets ousted, you know, does well, does I mean, come there's, back in? Does, there, I don't think Barnaby will come back in, but I'll tell you what, the, Michael McCormack can't win out of this, OK? Because if he doesn't get rid of her, he looks weak. If he does help Scott Morrison get rid of her, he looks like he's giving a sop to the lips and doing what they want, so he looks weak. So either way, he's weakened in the eyes of the party room. He's in, you know, massive kind of internal trouble. I don't expect to move on him, but... This whole affair has weakened him. It's the last thing he needed. I, I completely agree with you there because as you've been uh, reporting out and uh, Anthony Albanese, Labor keeps on saying the Prime Minister has to sack Bridget McKenzie. Well, technically and really, it's up to Michael McCormack and, and half the party room say he's weak, he should have sacked her, this is clear cut, um, <laughs> she's got to go. And the other half say, no, dig your heels in. We, yeah. The Libs don't tell us what to do. It's our decision to make. So... I mean, the, the Nationals party room is so mm. difficult. There's only 21 mm. members. It's so mm. difficult to predict anyway. And it was just as Monday, as early, as late as Monday, Barnaby Joyce went on, uh, I think, Sunrise and said, no, she should stay.
Yeah, but does he privately believe that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe he does. Yeah, but, she, but she's well, showing no signs of wanting to move anyway. That's the whole problem. Him. That's the whole problem. The Prime Minister wants you to go. You go, right? That's normal, normal behaviour. And maybe blushes are saved if you go before the report comes out. Instead, Morrison's had to make it about the report, the decider, to save McCormack's blushes as well. I mean, the thing is, if there's found to be a breach of ministerial standards, as I fully expect, and you put that on Bridget McKenzie's desk, what options does she have? She'll just have to resign. Mm. If she doesn't, it would be highly unusual. Don't rule it out at all. They might have to blast her out, but... She, she surely would see the writing on the wall then. There was some uh, suggestion, this was um, offered publicly by Peter Dutton and Michael McCormack later, that she might get by in a technicality because mm. when you actually have to uh, put forward your, on your um, register of interest, um, she had put down the Quake target shooting of Asso mm. the Association of Australia. The Wangaratta Club is a subsidiary of that, so technically she's covered herself. But there's so much more that's come I just think that's there. ridiculous. And, you know, if Scott Morrison stands up and says that, he'll get smashed, and deservedly so. Mm. I think that is ridiculous to say that. You know, I was given a membership, but it doesn't count because I could have shot there anyway. Mm. That's the argument, as I understand it. There's I mean, a bit of caution around, isn't there? Because if she does resign, she uh, is sacked forced to quit, whatever you want to call it, mm, mm. Um, you know, is there a suggestion that perhaps she's got... Dirt. Other ev mm. Dirt, exactly. Yeah, well, we'll soon know, depending on her fate. Mm. I guess this, this just follows around. The, the Prime Minister, he's out uh, in Orange today trying to, trying to promote uh, more money for, for drought-affected towns and, and councils, up to a million dollars for 47 of them, and uh, he's probably going to have this to deal with. I'm still told it's unlikely that we come to a conclusion today. More likely Thursday, Friday, potentially even tomorrow when he's giving Ga his Gajans. press club address. Gajan's report? Gajans. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Mm. I mean, how long does it take? Well, at least it happened before... Um, Parliament. Parliament yeah. resumes. Mm. Uh, one way or another, we should have some kind of resolution. Uh, Andrew Clinnell, we still don't know what that will be at this point. Stay on it. She'll go. We'll see. <laughs> Pressure is mounting. Andrew Clinnell, thanks so much. You'll see